Here were the marks to my arm as soon as I got out of hospital. When I was given haraperidol, over a number of days, I started to become very ill. I even tried cutting my wrists. Here's the evidence. This would have been around about June the 1st or the 2nd, after being told that I was... No, I had no rights to leave the hospital and I'd be detained there for six months. I obtained a character reference from Kavya Raj, who I met in hospital, around about August time for an event, only for an hour whilst I was with the security of Coral Ward. This is what she wrote. This is the reference from Kavya I confirm that I have known Stuart Copeland for the past six months, since June 2018. June 2018 is the incorrect date. That's when I went back to hospital. She met me in August for an event organised by Key Changes for an hour whilst I was with security of the nursing station from Coral Ward. She then met me at the beginning of September, end of August, when I was transferred to Opal Ward, where she was held. When I met him at Highgate Hospital, he is an extremely friendly, intelligent person and comes across to me as being very stable. He's highly organised, has great communication skills and I've always been very impressed with his demeanour and intelligence. If you have any specific questions, please feel free to contact me for more details on my number. 077-3841-5025. Yours sincerely, Caviar. Now I've asked her to do another reference as she put the wrong date in there and she now recalls after a telephone conversation that it was September that I came into her ward as she wasn't in hospital until the 14th of August. Therefore, this witness is witness to me off hyperidol and my state of being, uh, being friendly, intelligent and my, impressed with my demeanour. And that is after being taken off hyperidol. Here's evidence of back in 2003 I was volunteering as an LEA governor at King Richard III Infant and Primary School, dealing with attachments and amendments to different reports and looking over draft reports for the annual reviews and Ofsted. This is the annual governor's report uh, to parents that was sent to me uh, with the overleaf note thanking me. I kept hold of it for old time's sake, but I think it's relevant as it shows my character at the time in 2003. Here is my volunteer work I did back in 2005. I got a letter from Rita Guttenhurst saying she was being targeted as being a public member, same as me, a public member of a regulatory body under the Health and Social Care Act 2001 called pa Public and Patient Involvement Forums. She claimed to be targeted uh, as a result and I, and I responded as part of my duty as chair of the PPI forum in North Birmingham um, to support her with the targeting that she had about her regulatory powers in the NHS. They were concerned about her behaviour and they vast taking up a vast amount of staff time and she was disruptive and made too many complaints even though she was also a chair of a patient and public involvement forum. Um, the PPI form, which de designated a regulatory body under the Health and Social Care Act 2001. After supporting her with this, I seem to become targeted as well. As you can see, there's the date, 27th of October 2005. I made contact with Be Bexley Primary uh, Care Trust in order to discuss her case and give her support 
that that was our legal requirement to make complaints, request data from the uh, care trust staff and follow up on public and patients and patients and public concerns as part of the chippy um, statutory guidance we were given. Since then, Rita has found support from me and I have found support from Rita. Here is some of the um, targeting that she's been since being a member of the Public and Patient Involvement Forum since 2004. The blog is endless, but these are the, 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 the latest ones. In 2011, Bexley Council, um, there we go, wild or derelict about the garden being actually um, a garden of choice. Uh, the mental torture continues. Rita goes up market. Uh, blog there and there we go again being taken to court and Bexley Council giving more bad publicity to her in 2012 and the list just keeps going on. Rita came with me as a reasonable adult uh, to a tribunal I had back in 2017 and as she says here I am truly sad that we did not succeed today uh, penetrating the fog and the cover-up and closed ranks. She believed um, it was shameful, biased and bigoted, so-called responsible collision and support worker were, and they um, didn't even have the evidence and the dates are necessary in the previous meeting, where I was represented by Rod Campbell-Taylor to uh, and Campbell-Taylor Campbell solicitors to continue with the hearing, so I decided to take it on myself with a reasonable adult. And she giving here me support and says that um, I, she was shocked uh, by the, the way they said that Stuart is delusional and grandose. He just, Stuart did not seem to care. Uh, he did not seem to care that Stuart's mood is adversely affected by mistreatment and he being humiliated and intimidated. Uh, and that's what she observed from the hospital after I was um, taken out of the tribunal and we lost. And here she's writing to another person that was giving me support at that same meeting, meeting, Barry. I do not believe he is best served by the regime that is this manager's meeting would not lift. And go on to saying about it being a kosh um, and, in opinion, especially bigoted, literally unfair to Stuart and needs to be given human givens therapy. Uh, she goes on and on more and more about we found their reliance on historic and highly defamatory records as being sloppy and it was a sham and vicative towards me. And in her opinion, her professional opinion of working in the voluntary sector and also as a paid chair of a PCT in the past at Bexley, neither Barry and I thought either the social support worker were credible. They are far too negative and risk averse, which can only be bad for you and not for them. We found the reliance on history highly defamatory record is sloppy. And she believes it expand my in, believe that you need to expand your interests and keep busy to confound them. She gave me nice words of opinion, of opinion about how to get over it, um, and basically supportive words. She's been good to me, and she really helped at the time. But since then, uh, in her advanced age, she finds it hard to give me any more support. Here was an article given to me by Professor Stephen Brown, where he reports that treatment from a patient's perspective, and the treatment you receive in these mental health centres is often insistent in placement, and it's based on Heidegger, on the technologies of informing. It's just an information gathering exercise. Now I've had companies uh, whilst I've been sectioned, and they've just been telling me to give more and more information about what I've been doing with my companies, what I know, and that's all they seem to do. When, when they section me, there's nothing wrong with me other than the fact they want to know more information and get more information out of me uh, than they can get if I publish it in my blog or in my news articles that I sell to newspapers or uh, etc. my other media channels of resources. This is my letter from the University of Leicester um, where it proves that I was at the University of Leicester um, during the 2006-07 um, M MSc in Management Research, where under was under Dr. Steve Brown and Dr. S uh, Professor Steve Brown. Here are the kind words from Professor Steve Brown um, in his dealings with me whilst I was under section in 2015, and he pointed out to the um, to the points of take a patient's perspective, and in the Psychological Society's Book of the Year was one of his papers. Uh, and it's basically um, attached uh, 
to the next 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 slide. One of the reasons I was sectioned in 2015 was because dealing with sexual harassment from my boss Lee Johnson in Talent Quest. And I was get preparing evidence to take him to a tribunal uh, when my granddad died. After already making a complaint to uh, the directors about Lee Johnson, who was the actual managing director, um, my granddad died. He was very unconsiderate when my granddad died and I wanted to go to the funeral and he, I was taking some time off. He was demanding that I came back to work. Um, and I was then reported by my family when he contacted my family saying that I was having a breakdown, even though I wasn't having a breakdown. I was just annoyed. It was, it, I was preparing evidence for the tribunal on sexual um, misconduct in sexual harassment and going through a bad time with my family because of my granddad dying in family situations. Here in March 2015, PC Salam at 319 at Euston, uh, badge number he said, and he showed me his badge, said 247. He was following me uh, via King's Cross and I got off there uh, when I was being followed and he stopped me and asked me to go with him and asked me questions on the street uh, to what I was doing. Here's a witness statement. Um, that I was sectioned with. Here is the witness to say that my sectioning in 2016, in August, was not according to the procedures that should have been laid out in the Mental Health Act. This is to show that the intent to section me was already in their mind, no matter what the decision was, or based on what I said to them. They wanted to section me, and I had no way of getting out of being sectioned, not even if I cooperated. I did cooperate, explained the situation to them, explained what was going on, and they still put me under section three. Here is my uh, reference from the Parliamentary Data Video Network, PCD, Parliamentary Communications Directorate, where I worked in 99 to 2000 and one, and there... It was said, that I was thanked, me and Sarah, my assistant, for being really well work in the sessions that were missed by the, the key trainer and we took over and I planned the event uh, and went on to deliver the event and I was appreciated for all my hard work and consideration given to it and that's my parliamentary work back in... Here's a letter from the Cabinet Office in 2003 thanking me for the work that I put in and contributions that I made to the full edition for Better Government for Older People magazine. And that's addressed to me, Stuart Copeland. This is evidence in 2009.